Hi there. We will be discussing to avoid the delete keyword and do not use delete to remove a property from an object. This mutates the original object and can lead to unpredictable behavior which becomes difficult to debug. Instead, use the rest operator to create a new copy without the given property. We will be discussing this in our video today that why it is recommended to use the rest operator and create a copy of the object and not to use the delete keyword let's skip the title to our video javascript white the delete keyword in order to test the delete keyword in the rest operator we will need to create an object if i want to create an object i will write the script tag because object is a javascript method and to create an object i will write const and name it anything like i name it obj means object in curly bracket now let's pass on some property in the in our object for example if i want to add my present number of subscribers i will name the subscriber property as sub and write the present number of subscribers which is 310 and let's add another property and that is my channel name in order to check how delete works we will write delete object name dot any property name that we want to delete from the object for example if i want to delete subscriber property i will write that property name which is subs now console this object to see if the delete works or not write the console object name in the console refresh the page and open console in the browser you will see the object with only one property in the console and subscriber property is missing now if we want to delete the channel name we will write the delete keyword and object name plus the property name and that is channel now refresh the page and you will see an empty object in the console if you comment the delete keyword for both the properties name you will and refresh the page you will see the whole object with both the properties in the console why it is not recommended to use the delete keyword because you will have to write a line of code for each property that you want to remove from the object Instead, it is recommended to use the rest operator and create a new copy of the object and pass on all the names of the property that you properties that you want to remove from the object. For example, if I want to create a copy of the object using rest operator, I will write const and curly brackets. Now I will write the property's name that I want to remove from the object for example if I want to remove the subs property I will write subs comma now name the copy of the object new object and equal it to our original object now console the copy of the object new object to see if this works just like the delete or not we have removed the sub property and when we refresh it the console will only show the object with one property you can see there is only one property and that is the channel name if i want to remove the second property i will write its name in the same line of code for example the channel i will write the channel and when you refresh it 
you will have an empty object now if we add another property to our object and name it code red and when we refresh the page the console will show the object with one property and that is code red now if you want to delete that property too you will write its name in the lineup code for example code we will see an empty object because we have removed all the properties from our object if you want to add the property back to the object just delete the name of the property for example if i removed some property and refresh the page the console will show one property and that is subscriber 310 you can see it is easy to use the rest operator and create a copy of the object because you can delete as many properties as you want from the object by writing their names in one line of code while if you use the delete keyword you will have to write each property a separate line of code to delete it from the object this is the reason it is recommended to use the rest operator and create a copy of the object to delete properties from that object thank you for watching this is the end of the video and we will be back with another javascript related video please subscribe